Madam, Your Highness has done me much honor to come from a splendid court to a retired convent. Sweet Lady Happy, there are many who have quit their crowns and power for a cloister of restraint. Then well may I quit a court of troubles for a convent of pleasure. But the greatest pleasure I were to receive were to have your friendship. I should be ungrateful should I not be not only your friend, but humble servant. I desire you will be my mistress, and I your servant. And upon this agreement of friendship, I desire you will grant me one request. Anything that is in my power to grant. Why then, I observing in your several recreations, some of your ladies do accoutre themselves in masculine habits and act as lovers' parts. I desire you will give me leave to be so accoutred and act as the part of your loving servant. I shall never desire to have any other loving servant than yourself. Nor I any other loving mistress than yourself. More innocent lovers never can there be than my most princely lover, that is she. Nor never convent did such pleasures give, where mistresses and their lovers may live. My name is Happy, and so is my condition, until I saw this princess. But now I am likely to be the most unhappy maid alive. Why can't I love a woman with the same affection I love a man? No, no, nature is nature, and still will be the same she was for all eternity. My dearest mistress, do you shun my company? Has your servant become an offense in your sight? No, servant. Your presence is more acceptable to me than the presence of our goddess nature, for which she, I fear, will punish me for loving you more than I ought to. Can lovers love too much? Yes, if they love not well. Can any love be more virtuous, innocent, and harmless than ours? I hope not. Then let us please ourselves the way harmless lovers used to do. Can harmless lovers please themselves? Why, very well. As to discourse, may we embrace and kiss the souls we together. But innocent lovers do not use to kiss. Not any act more frequent amongst us womankind. Nay, it were a sin in friendship. Should we not kiss, then let us not prove ourselves reprobates. These my embraces, though of female kind, may be as fervent as a masculine mind. My dearest mistress, do you shun my company? Has your servant become an offense to your sight? No, servant. Your presence is more acceptable to me than the presence of our goddess nature, for which she, I fear, will punish me for loving you more than I ought to love you. Can lovers love too much? Yes, if they love not well. Can any love be more virtuous, innocent, and harmless than ours? I hope not. Then let us please ourselves, as harmless lovers used to do. Can harmless lovers please themselves? Yes, very well, as to discourse, embrace, and kiss. So mingle souls together. But innocent lovers do not use to kiss. Is any act more frequent amongst us womankind? Nay, it would be a sin in friendship for us not to kiss. So let us not prove ourselves retributes. These my embraces, though of female kind, may be as fervent as a masculine mind. 